Hello everyone. Today, I'll tell you guys what we should know when we pick out a Wi-Fi Bird Box camera. Well, we know that the Bird Box camera helped us to get a closer look at the birds when they're inside the birdhouse. And a Wi-Fi Bird Box camera has the ability to, you know, record the recordings as a digital signal, and then we can access them with any kind of digital device. So here are some aspects we should look into when we're picking a Wi-Fi Bird Box camera. So first, we're going to have to consider the size. We have to know the specifications of the Bird Box camera. Some cameras, they might have different specs and if you have, you have to know if it fits in your birdhouse properly. Our green backyard Bird Box camera are specially designed to be tiny and they can fit in almost any kind of bird boxes. And they won't like take up too much space and they can provide very good quality videos. Next, let's take a look at the Wi-Fi signal. The Wi-Fi signal is very important when we're using a Wi-Fi device like the Wi-Fi Bird Box camera. And how should we check the Wi-Fi signal in our house or wherever we live? Well, we can just easily use our mobile phone or smartphone and walk to the place we want to set up the Bird Box camera. And then we just took a look at our phone's Wi-Fi reception. The Wi-Fi reception on our phone, if it's very strong, then this place is perfect for setting up the Bird Box camera. If it's weak, we can use a PLC adapter to enhance our Wi-Fi signal so that we can still get a good connection where we want to set up the Bird Box camera. With good Wi-Fi receptions, the Wi-Fi can pr make our videos, our live streams, very steady, stable, and keep them in the high definition resolution. If the signal is weak, there might be constant breaking up, reconnecting, lagging, loading. So we should make sure that the Wi-Fi signal is perfect. Third, we're looking to, after looking at the Wi-Fi signal, let's take a look at some aspects of the camera. Some features right here. First, we should make sure that it has adjustable lenses. Adjustable lenses allow us to place the Bird Box camera in any direction or in any place we wish. Every time we change a direction, we can just use, you know, to adjust the lens with our, with our hands and try to get the cl uh, clearest if you get like a fixed fixed lens camera, then once you like change the position, change the distance of the focal length, the image will be blurry and you can't really adjust it anymore. Then it's the infrared LED lights. The infrared LED can provide us clear image even if it's dark around. And we know that some birds, they kind of are more active during night. In this case, the infrared will help us take a, get a clear look at the birds. So, and the infrared our bird box camera use, our, we use a special wavelength. So this wavelength, the infrared will not like appear as a red dot when it's dark inside. It will be hardly visible. We should also know, you know, because uh, everything is able to reach high definition resolution now, like 1080p. So at least we should request our camera to have this kind of resolution. And some cameras will have like this little SD card slot. If the SSD card slot can automatically start recording once we insert an SD card inside. And we have to remember our Bird Box camera, the Green Backyard Bird Box camera can only support 64 gigabytes and some of the 128 uh, gigabyte SD cards. Finally, we can ask for some motion detecting uh, abilities in our camera. If our camera has a motion detector, we don't have to like sit around and watch our screens for the whole day and wait for, you know, something exciting to happen. We can leave the camera on and, you know, do whatever we need to do, like work or just read a book, go do some dishes, take the trash out. And whenever there's some movement in the bird box, the, ca the camera would detect the motion and send a notification through the application on our phone in this way so we can save some cherished moments. When it sends the application, it also records that moment where the motion happens. So we won't miss out on any precious moments and we don't have to sit around all day just waiting for it to happen. And we can look back using the feedback motion. Uh, well, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any posting comments, please leave them at the section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.